next day and today we're going to be doing a bunch of exploring around the whole city of Isfahan. We have our driver which is basically our tour guide and he's going to be taking us around all of these like historical places and like sightseeing and stuff. So many people. It's like 10am and there's like so many people already on the streets. The first place we are at Naqshir Jahan Square. I just found out that this place was actually built 500 years ago. So right now we're in a bazaar which is basically a bunch of shops and in Iran they have loads of these. There's just like so many shops around me and it's really pretty actually. We're we'll be seeing one of the palaces within this square or rectangle and this certain palace has six floors and it was the first palace made with six floors. People are staring at me, it's okay. Yeah. This is the palace. So on this side it looks like there's only two floors but on that side it looks like there's four floors. There's like a certain way that they've built this palace which is really cool. He's just going to be standing there. I'm going to stand on this corner and see if you can hear him. Hello. I can hear you. My name is Jeff. This is so cool. This is what was used by the security guards to communicate if there's like an important person. So this is five floors of the palace. The same palace that we saw outside over there. So when people come from other countries, they see this palace and they're like, okay, this country has money. Here is where the horses were kept in the palace. It's kind of weird because we're all the way up at the top. But yeah, that's where the horses were kept. The top floor of the palace. This is the swimming pool right on this rooftop area. Through those holes they used to pump water and they got the water from those mountains over there. This building in a certain way because it's a music room they've built it to be soundproof there's no echo in here which is great for music it's so steep so that's where we entered from and that's where we came out from from outside it looks straight from inside it's turned This mosque has an echo, like the echo is like seven times. You know what I mean. They use this echo to like for the call to prayer. Um, and also in this place, that used to be where like the sun used to rise and at like a certain point it will show the direction to prayer. Like with the sunlight it used to show. Oh, ice cream. So they shake that one and that one shakes as well. That's it. This is the Atashka Fortress. 3,000 years ago, the people used to come here to worship fire. We've come to this place. It's like a bird's garden. It's really beautiful. And by the way, the weather is boiling. It's hot that they have to use water vapor to cool down. It's boiling. Is it gonna blink? Is it gonna blink? Okay, Is it gonna blink? Okay, it gonna it blink? <laughs> the other one's just like eating the metal. Okay. <laughs> and here we have the parrots. It is natural habitat. Make it nod. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 
Oh my gosh, that is deadly. Like that bird I feel like David Attenborough. Whoa. Turkey, turkey. Quack, quack. Why are they all facing like the same way? Look at that one in the dark. Come in. Oh. <laughs> Wait, who? What? That's a turkey. You dumb. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so chunky. <laughs> Why is it so chunky? <laughs> okay. I think it just pooed. Upper, upper. Didn't I nearly scare one that it nearly slipped? <laughs> scare ass hoe. Look at the way that I walk. I'm shopping at Fendi, you shopping at Ross. You cannot fuck with me, you bitches is soft. I'm riding with shooters. Oh, yeah. Later. Sure. Checking out of this hotel. What a beautiful hotel. And we have like a six hour drive to Shiraz. On the way there, we're stopping over to Persepolis. I'm so tired. My eyes are swollen. Anyways, I'll update you guys soon. We have finally reached Persepolis. It took us like three to four hours from Isfahan to here and I think Shiraz is another one hour away. Persepolis is basically all the way down there. What it is, is it's basically ruins from like two, a bit more than 2,000 years ago. This was all of the palace. This place is really nice. It has restaurants and coffee shops and stuff. It's very touristy. This is what it used to look like and that's how it is today. And guess palace, it was like this. Today. It's very, very hot today and since we went down south, it's a lot hotter near the south area of Iran. Apparently there's 130 steps to climb up in the heat. Yay! That was the entrance that we saw. They made the steps really small because a lot of old people used to go to the palace so it was just easier for the old people to get up. Um, a part of the unfinished gate. Basically, Persepolis actually took like 180 years to make and it still hasn't been finished. Yeah, it was basically never finished. Inside those places, there were tombs. Inside the tombs were bodies. And there was also treasures and gold inside the tombs. Alexander the Great from Macedonia actually attacked Persepolis, stole all the gold. That's why it's not there anymore. But yeah, it's pretty much empty. Here there used to be 72 columns, but now there's only this many left. This whole wall shows the different gifts that different empires used to give to the king. It's honestly the hottest place I have ever been in my life. Very good, it was worth it. Very worth it. Now we're on our way to Shiraz. It's another one hour drive. Hello, we have arrived in Shiraz Grand Hotel. We're gonna explore for a bit and then we'll go, might go for a swim. I'll see you later. <laughs> This is a view, it's absolutely beautiful. You can see the whole of Shiraz. No, it's actually really hot. Ow, oh my days. It's so funny. Oh my days. This is one of the lobbies. Just one of them. There's many, many restaurants in this hotel itself. That's pretty cool. Winnie, 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 winnie. 